With the launch of the new iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, Apple introduced fast charging technology to its handset lineup for the first time. Using compatible accessories, the company promises to recharge your iPhone up to 50% in just 30 minutes. Taking advantage of the new feature requires a few extra pieces of hardware. First, a USB-C to lightning cable capable of USB PD charging is needed to connect an Apple 29W, 61W, or 87W USB-C power adapter to an iPhone 8. Alternatively, third-party USB-C power adapters that support USB power delivery can also be used as a stand-in for Apple's branded accessories. Though Apple didn't officially announce it at the time, this flavor of USB-C-based fast charging was first made available to iPad Pro users. The technology made a huge difference in cutting down charging time with the iPad's large battery. In this video, we'll take a look at how Apple's fast charging tech compares to the included 5W charger, the 7.5W Belkin Boost Up wireless charger, and the 12W charger included with the latest iPads. Links to all of the chargers and cables we used are listed in the video description. Along with that, we also tested charging directly from an iMac using the included USB-A to lightning cable and separate USB-C to lightning cable. Before looking at the results, I do want to mention that we tested Apple's 29W and 87W USB-C chargers and found no difference between the two. So if you're buying an Apple branded charger specifically to charge your iPhone or iPad, save some money and go with the 29W version. After 5 minutes, we already see the fast charging method take the lead with a 9% charge using a 29W charger. Trailing behind at 7% charge is a 12W charger, while USB-C from an iMac stands at 6%. The included 5W adapter manages a 4% charge after the same 5 minute period. At the 15 minute mark, the fast charger reached 29%, expanding its lead over the 12W charger, which was at 19%. Interestingly, USB-C to iMac was right behind at 18%. After 30 minutes, the USB-C fast charger exceeded its promised charging rate at 52%, and the 12W at 36%. Not a huge difference, but definitely noticeable. The USB-C to lightning cable plugged into our iMac was just behind the 12W charger at 34% charge, while the USB-A to iMac was slower at 26%. The wireless charger and 5W adapter finished with about 20% charge after 30 minutes, less than half of what USB-C fast charging can achieve. Skipping over the 45 minute mark and moving to 1 hour, our fast charger gained 28% in the next half hour compared to 52% in the first half. So it's clear Apple's power controller ratchets down charging rates after 30 minutes. Our 12W and USB-C to iMac gained about 34% in the same time period, but still lagged behind in total charge. Our wireless and 5W charger increased by 20% to about 40% over the same period. It took an additional half hour, or 1.5 hours total for the fast charger to completely charge our iPhone 8 Plus. The 12W and USB-C to iMac needed only 15 minutes longer. Even though the included USB-A to Lightning plugged into our iMac was at first noticeably quicker than using the 5W adapter, in the long run it started slowing down and only finished 10 minutes ahead. Wireless charging is currently just as slow as the included 5W adapter, both charging at a consistent rate of about 10% every 15 minutes and taking 2.5 hours to get to 100%. This should come as no surprise, as the iPhone 8 only accepts 5 watts of power while charging wirelessly. Apple plans to boost wireless charging speeds with a future software update that will bring power transfer caps up to 7.5 watts, the peak output of the Belkin and Mophie chargers sold by Apple. So, if you want the fastest charge possible, use the right USB PD charger and cable, especially in the first half hour. With that said, the same USB-C to lightning cable plugged into an iMac or an iPad charger yields performance that isn't that far off. And if you want slightly quicker speeds than your included 5W adapter, but don't want to spring for a separate accessory, plug that same cable into the USB 3.0 port on a Mac. Finally, if you care about speed over convenience, you'll want to stay away from wireless chargers, at least until Apple updates its firmware. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.